Are you looking for new and better ways to attract great talent? Mm, Stay tuned to hear about how you can use already existing capability to get those great team members you're looking for. Hi, Shannon Waller here and welcome to Team Success. Today, I want to share with you an idea that's been kind of percolating for a little while, but there's been so much conversation about how to attract great team members, how to do it, you know, the tightness of the labor market right now, the job market, especially if you want people to be in person. If you want people to be 100% remote, that opens things up a little bit. But if you're doing a hybrid model or if you're like us and have an in-person workshop company that we're still doing as well as our virtual, so we're going to hybrid, you know, you're really going to have to have your wits about you in order to attract and then obviously to keep great team members. So I have a thought for you, which I cannot wait to share. And so my idea is to actually recognize that you already have all the marketing capability that you need in order to attract great team members because you're already great at attracting great clients and customers. So the idea here is to actually focus on talent marketing, but you already have this capability. You already have the skill. You already have the know-how. It's just turning it in a different direction. So normally all of our marketing sales efforts are applied front stage, and this is actually applied to the marketplace to attract great people to our backstage, to use strategic coach terminology. And I just lit up about this idea. I think it's really, really cool. And I have some ideas for you about specifically what you want to let people know about, what you want to market about your company. So we'll get to that in just a moment. But I just want you to acknowledge the fact that you already know how to market. You already know how to present yourself in the world. You know what the value proposition is. You understand how to connect with people and sift, sort, and screen, as Joe Polish says, in the right people and not the wrong people, because that's really what we want to do from a talent side as well as from a clientele side. So I just appreciate for a moment that you have the capability. So if you're feeling a little stressed about how to attract great team members, rest assured you have some capability. Now it's just how are you going to pivot to use that much overused term (laughs) since the pandemic and really direct it, put it into a different direction. So again, you can attract those amazing team members that you're looking for. And one of the things that I want to really coach you to do here is to not only sell the role, which is really if you put something on Indeed or LinkedIn or what have you, we're putting the position up and we're attracting people to that. But one of the things to be really conscious of and conscientious about is the fact that the role is no longer enough. People are looking for what kind of an organization am I joining? What is the culture? What's the spirit of the company? Are they there for a greater purpose? What are they up to anyway? Is this just a transactional company or is this a relationship company? Do they care about the communities that they're in? Like, what are they actually about? And you know what? You know this already too, which is really cool. So part of why you want to do this, again, is because the job market, (laughs) it's an employee's or team member's market right now. There's lots of talented people out there. Some of them have changed positions. Some of them are biding their time. But now, you know, as companies are kind of getting back on their feet again, a lot of cases, there's a lot of opportunity. There's also a lot of churn with companies. So companies that are not clear on their culture, you know, what they're about, what their purpose is, are actually going to be losing people. And that could be to your gain. So I just want you to kind of be aware that this is something you really want to put some time, attention, and creativity into, which you have more than enough of that. So you got this. Now, I want to talk about how you can do this and what specifically do you want to be marketing? So I've already talked about you want to market your whole organization, not just the role. One quick thing on the role, if you're not already using the Colby Right Fit process, the job description really lets people know what they need to have in terms of experience, skill level, all the cognitive aspects. Maybe when you interview them, have a little bit of the personality that you're looking for, whether or not you've articulated that in the job description or not. But what the Colby Right Fit tells you is what kind of talent you are looking for, what kind of mental energy, how do their instincts play out? And that is something that you will judge people to be successful at or not. And why not actually know that ahead of time and screen out the wrong fit people? It will save you so much money in hiring the wrong person. Because not only does it cost you money to hire the wrong person, it costs you time. And that, at least to my mind, is one of our most precious resources. So I think it's really important to have 
I call it a shortcut, but that's not an attractive term for some people. It's such an effective strategy to actually get the talent that you want. So when you're looking at the role, please be sure to use the Colby descriptors of how that person strives, where they're going to be accommodating, how they're going to prevent problems. Colby Right Fit tells you that, but also the Colby Bottom Lines booklet tells you that. That's available from Colby. If you're a client of Coach, we have a copy available for you too. So that's just really key. So when you are writing your job description, please not only include the cognitive capabilities and skill that someone needs to have, but also you want to make sure that you're putting some of the personality requirements and some of the striving instincts that you want your team to have. So when you put all of those in, you'll have a much more robust job description. So that's really how you market the role. Now let's talk about how to market your company and what people are looking for. Had a great conversation with someone who's just joined our organization about what this person was looking for, and they were very articulate about what mattered to them. So I wanted to share some of this with you. So number one is, please share your purpose. Make sure that you, A, are clear on that. So if you're not, then you probably have some work to do. But strategic coach's purpose is really clear, and that is to expand entrepreneurs' success, freedom, and happiness. So that's what we want to expand you know, entrepreneurial success, freedom, and happiness. So we want to attract people for whom that matters to. And also if someone doesn't love entrepreneurs, doesn't want to support them, we're not the company for them. And I'd rather they know that in advance. The other thing that you want to share is your core values. And you can even use this in the hiring process. It's like, these are the core values. So for example, some of our core values, number one is positive and collaborative teamwork. So if someone's not positive, if they're not collaborative, if they need to be a rugged individual, again, We are not the company for them. So that's really important that they are key about that. And also in that one, we built in the concept of unique ability. So that is really paying attention to the fact that we want someone to be self-aware of what their capabilities are and then really be interested in expanding those, which is quite different than just climbing a normal corporate ladder. The opportunities for expansion and coach are to expand their contribution based on what they are best at and most love to do rather than some pre- ordained structure, if that makes sense. Our next core value is that we want people to be alert, curious, responsive, and resourceful. So that's critical. Actually, we ask hiring questions around this. The next one is growth and results. We want people to always be focused on growing themselves, because that's really how the company is going to grow, and to focus on results. It's not just enough that we're putting in the time and effort. We need to be a results-focused company. And that means focusing on the company's results, not just the individual results. And then finally, providing an excellent first-class experience. We strive for front and backstage excellence in creating professional first-class experiences that can generally produce wow moments. We like to do that for our team members as well as our clients. So just by sharing those core values, we are going to attract some great people and hopefully not attract some people who would not be able to live up to those core values. So really being crystal clear on what those are and putting them on your website. I mean, we've got some fabulous cartoons by our great team member Hamish, you know, which is also just another part of the fun, (laughs) the fun part of our culture. So we don't take ourselves super seriously. Lighthearted, serious minded is another great way to describe us. So that's what we want to communicate. And even the graphics with which you do that are pretty important. The other thing that's really important to people, because again, I cannot stress how important purpose is. People want to know what you're up to in the world and whether or not their values align with that. So purpose and core values is absolutely essential. A lot of folks are also really, you know, what's important to them is that they know that you are committed to the community. So we have something fun thing called silver bullet days where people can take up to three days a year contributing back to the community. That's really important to them. And that's a day that's paid for by a strategic coach. Lots of companies have really fun things where people just get cash and they're invited to go into the community and I was going to say get rid of it, but spend it (laughs) as quickly as possible on something for someone else. So if they're going to, you know, give it to someone who's experiencing homeless or donate it to a charity, but they have to actually go and hand over the cash themselves, which I think is a very fun idea. You get to see just the look on someone's face when you hand them over the money and then they come back with stories about who they decided to contribute their money for. So that's another fun idea that I think is super cool. But then you have to write about that and share it and show pictures. It's an important thing for people to know about. Be sure to share in the spirit of culture also any social activities. We're just in the process of putting up, we've got so many cool pictures of different events that we've done, got together when we are allowed to do that. We've got pictures of our Zoom screens. We did a paint day. (laughs) 
with paint event. Oh my gosh, the paintings were interesting, but very humorous and very fun. So, you know, we've got pictures of that on Zoom with all of our materials, you know, whatever you've done to really pull people together, both online and in person is really, really powerful because then people really get a sense of who's on the team, the different faces, any kind of diversity that you have, both in terms of capabilities or race or any of the other ways that we are unique and distinct from one another. So that's really important. The last point I want to make here is also about your hiring process. So give people a sense of what to expect. Now, I have interviewed my awesome friend, Charlie Bassett, who one of his rules is hire fast, which I do not disagree with. You don't want to dilly dally. You don't want to be slow because frankly, you're probably going to miss out. But the other thing is, if your hiring process is thorough, which ours is, you want to explain why. So our new team members go through three profiles before they start and two immediately after. (laughs) That's a fair number, but you have to explain why. For example, we're really particular about who we invite into Strategic Coach. They need to fit with our culture. They need to be a great fit for the role. We have a long-term future for them. We want to make sure that they have a long-term future for themselves. We need to make sure that things are aligned. In our hiring process, we're not just meeting people once and then going, here's the job offer. No, we're going to meet with you a couple of times. We're going to have you do the profiles. We're going to make sure that you're a right fit. We're going to make sure that we're a right fit for you in this process. So I actually think it's a selling point for the right type of person. So please don't compromise your standards. Don't be slow, but don't compromise your standards either. What you want to do is let people know that there's a real advantage for them. And again, you will attract the right fit team members and repel the wrong fit ones, which will save you from going through that exercise later on. So just to wrap up, I want you to feel really, really confident that you actually have the skills already to do talent marketing. Again, it's just pivoting your marketing capabilities in a slightly different direction. And hopefully some of the ideas that I've talked about to list in your marketing, on your website, as part of your hiring process, we were inspired by Charlie Bassett to put kind of all the cool advantages that people get as a result of working from coach into a little, you know, a graphic, which was super cool. So there's little like cartoons and great images of all the things you get when you join coach. This is neat. It means we've thought about it. It means that we've really packaged our value creation, not only for our clientele, but also for our team who's going to deliver on those results to our clientele. So again, it's just such a cool idea to me that you can take your already existing capabilities, put them in a different direction, and that will help you be even more successful than you are now in attracting a phenomenal right fit team to help you deliver on all those great results for your clients. So I hope you love this idea. I hope it's inspired you. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know at questions at And as always, here's to your team success.